Yo guys, what's up? Professor Mad Hag Gaming here, and today we are back with another SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake video. In case you don't remember what happened last time, I don't remember what happened last time because I obviously did not film the last video because someone, definitely not an AI voice playing them because I was tired of doing commentary for videos, stole my channel. But that, let's start. Ooh, this looks sick. I'm, I'm excited to play this. Alright, wait. It's been a while since I played this last time. I, I forgot everything. Also, I know that I haven't been playing like Little Nightmares that often. I, I, I just got overloaded with a bunch of stuff like school and then all the YouTube series I was managing, but I'll be doing that and the Fallout 1 simultaneously for y'all, because I really want to complete Little Nightmares. You know, speaking of which, this is a nightmare because I just missed and fell to my death. Alright, what are we supposed to do? Get down to the... Slide down to the rainbow. Ow! That hurt. Ow. Oh, we... Why do they... Why do, Why are they pain? Oh, oh, no, no, no! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That... That had hurt. Alright, L1. I think it's L1, right? Yep. No! no. <sighs> that was way too close. We're gonna get yeeted into the sky. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, yo. I know it's a Spongebob game, but they could at least hide the twist villain better, or what they call twist villain, because Madame Cassandra is obviously the villain. Watch it end up, watch it be like Spongebob or something, that would be, that would be funny. Like, like the villain's just Spongebob, he's been playing this whole thing, and Cassandra's just a really well-meaning person, but just has horrible, just has a horrible way of words. That would be funny. Alright, you know what, let's change our outfit. Where, where can we change our outfit? Come on. Alright. I got the DLC, so we can, uh, what, do, what do you think, guys? Uh, dehydrated? No, 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 no. We haven't been this guy. I wish this, like, would hide your tat, like, hide the objective more. Because I know I, I said I've complained about games, like, having no direction, but sometimes, like, you can have too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, like in Fallout 4, there was this, uh, puzzle in a Nuka World DLC, I believe. It was, like, you had to find them, and it didn't really give you, like, well, I mean, like, it gave you hints, but it didn't outright mark where they were. That's what I would like. That would be fun, more fun to me than having the game like baby walk you throughout the whole thing i know i'm a i'm a very uh flip floppy person when it comes to stuff like this oh look it's the last piece of the bubble and we found it all right oh uh, oh no mm. all right we need to put on a giga chat outfit we need to put on a chat outfit what do you think mm. not chat enough that's just gross yeah all right guys we got another key oh it's that thing all right we got this i'm not afraid of you oh yeah yeah take that take that ah oh, man i'm really passionate about this game i love it let's see what's in here oh parkour how nice all right so apparently we gotta we gotta get each of the treasure chests or like the towers or whatever activate the buttons and get the water to rise all right seems simple enough Purple key next. That looks simple enough. It's not nearly as high. How does that not break SpongeBob's legs? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. How does that not make his legs snap upon impact? Well, I guess because he's gliding down, that makes sense. But I mean, I stopped, didn't I? Oh well. Come here, unicorn. I'm going to take you and sell you for glue. Oh, oh, oh. This, this isn't good. You, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. Oh, Pufferfish, that's another cool callback to the series, I like that. I like that they're reusing some of the assets. I know that's just, like, probably cheaper to do, but I, I personally just enjoy that they do that sometimes. Like, it, it's not, it doesn't always work, because it depends on what, how, how well you reuse a certain asset of a game or TV show or a movie, but there is the occasional time, it's rare, it's very rare, but it's times like this where it, it sort of works. Wait, were those fish guts I saw? Play please play that back. Were those fish guts? Because if they were, that was just utterly horrifying. Lady's a serial killer. She's That's like using human skin as, as beauty cream. Oh well. I do want to 100% this game, but that I heard that doing stuff like that is obviously very difficult, so I might I might do that off camera because I feel like filming me at 100%ing this game would be very tedious. 
and not enjoyable for y'all to watch. All right, yo lady, do you want your beauty cream? You know, these are, this is a lot easier than Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, which is also another complaint I have with this game. Uh, it's just that it's like, it's too easy now. Like, I, I really enjoy this game, don't get me wrong. I, it's just that I, I think this is too easy. Like, it's still a fun game. Like I said, it's just that it. it's it's a lot easier than the other game is all I'm trying to say. I like the fact you can spam in this game. It's I know it's a toxic behavior technically, but I I personally enjoy spamming in games like this. I don't like spamming in online games. I mean, despite what my friends will say, uh, I definitely do not like spamming in online games. I definitely don't use the heavy attack in fighter games over and over and over. Oh, you're going down, old crone. This is really frustrating. Alright. Alright, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Yeet us! We did it. Ooh, would you look at this area? That's, uh, that's quite a lot. It's a fun, it looks fun. It looks really fun, but trust me, I don't want this video to be really, really long, so I think that'll have to do it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.